Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is a whole brand new day. We are, uh, we're just excited about today. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because, uh, oh, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago, one of my wife's girlfriends gave me a call and said, Hey, Nick, my neighbor's got a, a walnut tree he's cutting down, and uh, he wants to just give you the tree. And I thought, well, okay. You know, usually walnut trees, yeah, there's not a whole lot of usable wood on it because the tree comes up four or five feet and then it splits off and then it splits off again and it splits off again and, you know, you can't make any boards out of it, you know, a couple of feet at the base. And I thought, well, okay, I'll go either that or the trees, you know, this big around and, you know, that's pointless. Uh, so I thought, well, okay, I'll go over and have a look at it. So I went over to look at it and it's two and a half feet across at the base, 40 feet of straight up trunk to the first branch. And I'm like going, oh my God. And the guy's willing to cut it down, cut it into sections and set it aside for me. I just got to get, get it out of there when he does that. And I'm thinking, okay, well, how am I going to do that? So I called my buddy Dennis and he has, not only does he have a mill, but he has a truck and a trailer to carry the damn thing with and a, a backhoe to pick it up. So uh, he drags all of his equipment over there. He uh, picks up the pieces of trunk, puts it on the trailer. We haul it back over to his house. And this morning we're going over and we're going to mill up that piece of walnut. So, well, there's about four pieces, I believe. Uh, so, uh, and I'm going to try to film this as we go. Uh, you, it may be a little wiggly because I'm going to be running around and, uh, and we'll get in as much as we can. And it's an exciting day. So follow along today. We're going to have some fun. Okay, here we go. Leaving my driveway in the little metro on our way out to, uh, to Bloomfield Road where our uh, I live passing the old RV that we rent out on a regular basis through Airbnb and going up my little uh, driveway uh, out to the stack of rocks that always sits here. Now this is an interesting stack of rocks because uh, they're just sitting there and that particular configuration has been there for over a month trucks drive by cars drive by everything happens around that stack and it stays right there now the only time the stack gets knocked down is usually when a bird lands on it and right now it's winter time so there's not a whole lot of birds around so let's continue on up my road I climb this hill every morning uh, going for my daily walk out to the logged area that just got logged this last summer and it looks ugly as hell but you know that's what neighbors do down through the dense forest over the uh, speed bumps past the old rotted pine tree and uh, we're on our way out to uh, Bloomfield Road. Let's see now. Usually there's this little jackrabbit that hangs out right about here. I mean, we see him most every time. And it doesn't look like we're gonna see him this time. And he's been here for years. Not two rabbits, not four rabbits, one rabbit. Okay, speed bump number three, here it comes. Watch out, we're gonna bump, bump. <laughs> All right, out to the main highway. Or not the main highway, the main back road, Bloomfield Road. I mean, in a sense, it's a main highway because back in the 1800s, this was the road that led out to Allegheny and up to Challenge and, and out to all of those places. But of course anymore, it's just a little back road that leads to my little road. And uh, God, look at the day. It's just a beautiful day. 
and we're gonna go through all this windy back road for about another five or six miles so I'll turn you off for the moment and we'll turn back on as we come into town okay well now we're coming into Nevada City proper this is the little residential area that you uh, that you have to drive through from my house at least to get to downtown but it's a cute little residential uh, you know a little 15 mile per hour uh, speed limit here comes the uh, I can't remember the oh the in and out in something like that an old 1940s motor court check it out kind of cool they renovated that a few years ago and now it's all you know fancy Nevada City's like you know the ultimate in uh, in the 1890s refurbs every one of these houses has been rebuilt and, and reconditioned back to the old 1800s uh, uh, original styles and you can kind of see that uh, that we're uh, here we are coming right into downtown this is like the upper echelon part of town well of course now it's all B&B's but uh, you know it's fine that, a beautiful house there I don't know if you can see it yeah there it is and there's a whole bunch of them up in this upper part of town uh, and then now we're coming into the commercial section of town um, the Nevada theater which is uh, the I don't know it's some kind of famous thing about Nevada City theater hey this is uh you know 8 30 in the morning so there's no traffic here which is really cool and uh, you can see like you know it's an old gold rush town but you know every one of these stores is definitely not old gold rush these are like fancy uh, jewelry shops and clothing stores and so on and so forth we're gonna make a right hand turn here and go over and pick up Patty because she's gonna be our helper today and here comes Patty now ready and raring 8 30 in the morning <laughs> I'm filming of course I'm filming <laughs> Have a request okay request can, you want this on film no filming <laughs> no i said you want this on film i don't care uh we need a cup of coffee oh well i think a cup of coffee is in, in <laughs> tall order okay we turned onto you bet road which is uh a, you know this world famous road that goes up back into the back country on the south end of nevada city coming close to closer to grass valley and we're gonna make a left-hand turn onto this little side road. I can't remember what the name of the road is. It's Pearson. Pearson Road. And then another quick left into Dennis's property. Oh. And here we are. And you can see the rope, and you can tell this guy's a sailor, of course. Coming up on the... Uh, the part of the property, my God, he has got so much wood stacked up. He was right. And if we come around the back side here, we'll come up to this part of the property and he's waving me to park over to there. Yes, Dennis, I'll park over there, I promise. Okay, YouTube, I want you to meet Dennis, the guy who's gonna cut up our wood for us. Hey, Dennis. Good morning. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm greasing, greasing yeah, stuff. Part you got to put the good stuff on and take the bad stuff off. Absolutely. The good stuff is the snoo, and the bad stuff is the nerm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very technical language of of uh, of machinery. All right, good. So uh, we'll uh, get started, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, there's our walnut logs. And it looks like Dennis is uh, going to pick up the first one and uh, drop it in the saw and we're going to get started. I'm telling you, these things were a pain in the ass to get up into that trailer first out the gate. Okay, he's dropping it in the mill.
be back. So, so far we've got ourselves a fair amount of wood here and we still got uh, a couple of more uh, logs to cut up. That, that pretty good size one right there and then there's one little small one back there. I'm not even sure we're going to cut that up, but we will do something with it. And uh, let's have a look at this wood because that's the cool part. Look at the grain of that wood. This is pretty amazing stuff. Of course, there was a couple of nails in the tree, so uh, we had to go through a couple of saw blades to get here, but uh, we're here, and life is good. Right, Patty? Get up, get up and go going. Oh, it's done gone a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey, we'll get through this last piece and uh, life will be good. Uh-oh. Okay, good. It made it. Okay, we got the load home. And, uh, and we're ready to uh, unload it. Uh, well, uh, this is about half of the load actually, but uh, you know, it, this is some of the boards. And uh, so we've come over to our cedar pile that we had cut up, oh, a number of years ago. It's all dry as a bone, ready to go. Uh, and in fact, uh, I'm gonna swing you around. We made uh, that deck out of the cedar pile last summer. So uh, we've probably got another deck's worth or something like that in here that uh, we're gonna use it for maybe this next summer. But for right now, we're gonna take these eight foot boards and we're gonna drop them right on top of that, those three uh, pylons right there and, uh, and then sticker them as we go. So it's gonna be a lot of weight on that wood and we're gonna hope that it all holds up to what, we, what we're trying to do. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you have to understand, well, a lot of this is wet, so you're gonna kinda not see you're going to see a difference in patterns, but look at the patterns on this. This was the crotch of a tree right here and right there. Oh man, that is just going to be spectacular when that gets polished. So, uh, but it's soaking wet right now. We've got to wait a couple years for this to, to get polished up and, or I mean to get so we can work on it. But uh, for now, it's good. Okay, good morning. Nick Collier here, and uh, and I got up, uh, well, I, I always get up before dawn, but uh, this morning I got in my truck just around dawn and drove back over to Dennis's house to get that second that second load on my old beat-up uh, Toyota pickup. Uh, and we got a bunch of stuff here. Um, most of it is uh, Fletch or, you know, the throwaway stuff. Uh, but down as we get down below here, there's... Oh, there's probably about 20 really good pieces of wood that uh, that we're going to bring over and put into our stack over here. And uh, oh, and let me show you a couple of these. These came out really good. I don't know what I'm going to use them for just yet, but uh, and, and you can't, you know, I don't bring it in a little closer. I mean, oh, there we go. Get a little sun on it. I mean, it's still dirty as hell, but uh, you can see that it's some kind of tabletop. Some kind of something. I think I might actually take it over and make a little tabletop over my deck. Hey, I want to take you over to the deck because it's made of the same wood that we got cut a couple of years ago. Not the same wood. It's not walnut, but it's uh, cedar. So last let's go and have a look at. Uh, uh, we started renting this uh, RV out. I inherited that from my mom. Uh, and uh, so we drug it onto the property, kind of set it up, and we started renting it out on Airbnb. But what I realized was, and I'm going to back up just a little bit, what I realized was that, yes, it's a great little RV, or it's a big RV actually, but uh, it didn't have a front area. 
uh, for people to hang out. So I built this deck out of that cedar that I got uh, off of the property, a couple of dead cedars in the neighborhood, actually. And, uh, you know, I called the neighbors and said, hey, what are you going to do with that tree? And they said, ah, yeah, sure, you can take it. So uh, I cut up a bunch of cedar. And uh, last summer I made this deck. And then also I took uh, these little segments here from some small cedars that had died or had, uh, and I've been saving them for oh, a couple of years, and uh, segmented them and kind of put a face on that. I think that came out really good. Um, so, uh, hey, come visit. You can stay in our Airbnb. So most of the pieces right in here are uh, two inch, two inch chunks. And if you look, you can see that there's uh, just this beautiful green going on. And uh, this is the heartwood, the dark part. And this is the sapwood. So the sapwood is kind of this light color. Let me see if I can get a broom and broom this off a little bit. Just so you can... Yeah, you get a little bit of a view of it right there. You can see the, uh, the sapwood kind of accents the heartwood. So, you know, if I make something, I'll probably want to use this raw edge here. Now the bark, as it, as it dries, the bark is going to peel off, but it'll come down to this raw part of the wood that'll fold over and follow the lines of that knot right there and that heartwood. So something really cool is going to get made out of that. What? I don't know. Most of my heavy pieces are right here, just kind of leaning for right now, because I still have other pieces I want to put on the stack. And here's the stack right there. And, uh, and then once I get all the pieces on the stack, then I'll put the heavy pieces on top of them. So they'll really put some weight on those, on those one inch ones, because uh, the one inch ones will have a tendency to warp as they dry. But with a lot of weight on them, they'll stay right where they're at. And then we're going to take most of the flat chip there on the truck and put it on top of everything else. And the flat is, you know, not that great of wood, but it's heavy. And it'll hold down everything and it'll hold down these big planks. So that's the plan. And uh, at some point or another, we're going to have the truck unloaded all of the wood on the truck over onto the stack, all of the heavy wood over here onto the stack, and it's all gonna be one big stack of walnut. It's been an interesting project. My body is killing me, it's so sore. But uh, hey, you know, what else is there to do except for stand out here in the, in the wind? The wind came up last night. It's just blowing the tops of the trees back and forth. It's, uh, it's pretty spectacular. And we'll get this thing all buttoned up today and we'll be back to metal work. Metal work, Monday morning. This is Nick Collier. Oh, hey, subscribe. We have a great time. We go off, you know, I do the regular uh, machine things on, uh, you know, every week I post at least one thing. And then when we take off on these uh, wild adventures, uh, I'll post that also. So subscribe, come hang out with me.